Hello everyone, Raijin Rising here, and welcome to my reaction to Volume 7, Chapter 11, High Noon. At the risk of sounding cliché, James, it's High Noon. In all seriousness, though, last chapter was crazy, and I knew going into it that to some extent that it would be a setup chapter for the third act of the show, and, you know, even on that same day that it released, the same episode of chapter or Volume 6 chapter 10, which was uh, Stealing from the Elderly, that one uh, also released, and that was a setup chapter for its volume. And then in, in volume 3, PvP was the setup chapter for the third act then, and it didn't set up Kevin, the wyvern slash dragon slash who the hell cares what it's called because it's cool. So, I am i don't know what to expect from this one, like if there's going to be something new or if there's not like, a new development, or a new character, or a new whatever happens that completely sets up the rest of the end of the uh, volumes fight even more than we already knew. So, uh, I, I'm expecting to see Cinder, to some extent Cinder and Neo. I don't know how much. I don't know if they're going to do anything big or substantial in this chapter versus, you know, chapter 12 or in the finale. Uh, you know, if they do get to Freya, how much they do, what happens is the maiden going to be cinder or neil or is it going to be you know winter or is it just going to be plain nora because people do think that freya is nora's grandmother that's a theory that's out there i don't quite believe it like i'd rather see something of that from the show before we see it like before we see that actually happen so who knows and Lastly, I'm wearing these headphones again. I had them in the Volume 7 Chapter 1 reaction, but after that they broke, and it has taken literally 10 weeks to get the replacement. So, for Volume 7 Chapter 11, it's a go. Three, two, one, now. Gravity, not high noon. Okay, so, oh right, because they had to open floors, yeah. It's gonna be interesting. Night. Gravity dust, huh? All right. So I guess you can shoot different rounds depending on like what's in what cartridge and what's in the other. So you can actually turn off the gravity in specific regions along with, so you can control the level of gravity in the different pillars. That's interesting. It said this is basically when the Dungeon Master joins the party on their adventure. So, okay. Is that from his wrists, or is that, what is that? Yeah. Yeah, also... So this is, um, Santee C probably again. I know that we, Casey was definitely piping people up for more music, but. Can you just plain move them too, or is it, okay, it's still just gravity. Is that his metal half, though? Yeah, he can pull himself up. He can probably do that regardless of what side was metal, but, like, still. <laughs> it's like they basically have the same weapon, though. <laughs> Or, I mean, it, it appears that they have the same apple. Their weapons do the same types of things. Kind of just catch-alls for dust magnet or dust bullets. Okay, now it's broken. That's the that's the effect. They flew off his body, so it is broken. And I think it's just broke too. You never 
never appreciated my genius, James. You just do the top. He's about to whip somebody. They're <laughs> both just about to whip each other. God. I gave you everything you could have wanted. You chose that fat imbecile over me. Now they're dangerously close to the ceiling. Okay. They're about to stop the enemy. I suppose in this instance, my brains and your brawn are evenly matched. You're smart, but you're not the only one who can count. Is this? Did they really just make a Deadpool reference? <laughs> Who's been counting? Was a little oh, God. Too close for my liking, James. Rebuilding those rings is going to be such a pain. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, God. I don't think he has any reservations of becoming more metallic than he already is. You're hoping to add more metal to that body of yours. I don't think he cares that much. He's already half metal. A half man like Tyrion from Game of Thrones. Yeah, he doesn't fucking care how much he loses. What? You think Ironwood cares about how much his fucking body is metal? You fucking idiot! Really? I will sacrifice whatever it takes. To stop her. <laughs> oh, I hope you do, James. I hope you do. Tyrion Kalos, you're under arrest. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna cut off his tail again. Alright! Alright! This revenge! Is that your final form, Tyrion? What are you thinking about here? Oh god. Oh, and that blew up in his face. Get it? And he's... his aura's broken now as well. These fights are taking very short time. Where's that smile now? Do it again! He says. This is close. He's into it. Requesting prisoner transport. And that was resolved very quickly, meaning there is... Still a lot more happening. Where's Watts? And Cinder? Did he just come home to Cinder? Faculty and upperclassmen can provide gut. Schnee. Yes, sir. Was anyone caught trying to enter the school grounds while I was away? N no. Sure. Still afraid, I see. Yep. Now show me where you've been hiding her. Affirmative. I don't understand. Why would the general call us back without giving a reason? Especially with evacuation still going on in Mantle. You don't There's another fight. understand orders, kids. You just have to follow them. Civi transports won't be stopping anytime soon. 
The general says he needs us now. He needs us now. You all get to the general and find out what's happening. We'll bring Oscar and see you soon. General Ironwood? We have made a critical error. The Black Queen was the symbol Salem showed us before we lost everything. Her way of telling us she was inside. That it was too late. We stopped Watts. We stopped Kalos, but someone was here. They put this in my office to tell me that it... What if Mantle was just a distraction? What if it was just to draw us away from the Academy to... to... Sir! It's going to be okay. We've got Mantle on our side now, and... How do we know that wasn't part of their plan? How do we know they didn't want us to bring people into Atlas by the And thousands? this is where his... In trying to save everyone, we left ourselves most vulnerable. Salem has been one step ahead of us this entire time! And that's his metal hat. It's... glass. That's from Cinder, yeah. Exactly. Black glass. This was Cinder. She's alive? And she's here? If Cinder's here, then for all we know, Hazel's here too. Sir, this isn't over yet. We're with you. Are Thank you, you with me? Sir? This is the part where the trusting took way too long and now he doesn't Probably trust them. No, about the global communications project. Yeah. We told her. The night of the ambush. You did what? We were trying to help. By going behind our backs? Wait. Does that mean you let her escape? Robin is on our side. She always has been. We didn't know that for sure. None oh god, what is right in that now. fucking Loyalty bag? Matters. Okay. Okay! General and it looks a lot better. The brave oh. huntsman and huntresses bested Arthur Walk. Congratulations. We stopped Tyrion too. And we'll stop Cinder and anyone else you try to send here. Dear girl, their goal was never victory. It was merely to set the stage. For what? For me. Yeah. Time isn't on your side, James. It's always been on mine. The people of Atlas have suffered enough. Surrender the staff and the lamp to me, and they needn't suffer any further. She's not actually there, That's but she can easily be. Not going to happen. Simply accept the futility of your situation. And this can all be over. We've seen what you're capable of. The lamp showed us. It showed us everything. We've seen that you can't be killed. But we've also seen you fail. We don't have to kill you to stop you. And we will stop you. Your mother said those words to me. Yeah. My mother? She was wrong, too. She knows everything. I mean, we gotta assume that.
was just an apparition the whole time. That's Salem? That's who we're up against? And she's apparently on her way. But we'd be alerted if any forces had approached the kingdom. We have long-range proximity alarms all along the coast and... They're offline. With all of the chaos we didn't notice. Watts must have shut them down. Or they've already been destroyed. Yeah, I mean, her plan was always to show up herself, but... But... All of them? You I mean, there's fleets here. The Amity Tower was ready to launch. Was that true? No. You just said that. To lure out Watts. General... Ironwood? I've sent your sister to claim the power of the Winter Maiden. What? When I realized we'd been compromised, I knew we couldn't wait any longer. The staff and the lab have to be locked away. I thought... You said we could keep it. Well, that was before you lied to me about the lamp. Before you lied to us about Robin, before Salem was right on our doorstep, before Mantle was nearly destroyed, and myself and my army were left exhausted! The timeline has changed, and so we must change accordingly. What are our orders, sir? We are going to take our plan for Amity Tower and apply it to the city of Atlas. What? It was Oz's plan in a former life, but he didn't take it far enough. If we harness the power of the staff and raise ourselves high into the atmosphere, the city's artificial climate will keep citizens and food supplies unharmed, always out of reach of whatever Salem may try to send our way. But we're nowhere near finished evacuating everyone. You'd be leaving Mantle to die. Yes, I would. Just when we thought I he had a can't heart. Allow Salem to capture the relics. This is our best chance at getting the staff, the lamp, and the maiden as far away from her as possible. But we have an opportunity to reunite the world. If we launch the tower, we can all work together again. We could even call for help. If we can hold out long enough. Sometimes doing the right thing means making tough decisions. You're right. And I think the right thing to do would be to stand our ground. Me too. Me too. Me too. We ran ourselves ragged trying to save Mantle tonight. We try that again against an even larger force. But your huntsmen and huntresses, you can't just back down from a fight. You can't focus on one single fight while trying to win a war. What's the council going to say? Nothing. Once I declare martial law. Oh, what about Robin? Who exactly are you loyal to? We're loyal to the people counting on us to save them. We are saving who we can. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to think right now. I mean, there was what the God of Darkness did. We've got a serious problem. And this ain't this ain't as bad as that, but it could at least prevent everybody from dying. I was declaring martial law and abandoning Mantle! Salem is coming and he's going to use the staff to move Atlas. If we don't stop him, Mantle's going to be just... What? No! I'm sorry it's come to this. But until Atlas and the relics are safe, you are all under arrest. We won't just let you take us. I know. You see, it's like they're not evil, but they're also Ruby, are you there? just Ruby. Did you tell them? Oscar, where are you? Oh, good lord.
Yeah, like... Watson Tyrion went down way too darn, e darn easy. <laughs> oh god, the freaking previs of the fight. Oh, it looks like a nightmare. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, at the very least... Uh... We got Salem. We got... Uh... As I was saying, we had Kevin in episode 11. We have Salem in... Or episode... It was, that was episode 10. And this was a great character model. Holy shit, that was... Some kind of presence there. Ugh. I'm gonna turn off the recording before I forget it, because it typically lasts for like an hour by the time I remember to stop it. Okay. Ah. Uh. So... All that happens, and, uh... God. I'm gonna collect my thoughts for a bit. Yeah, so, I mean, why would Ironwood think he'd have to worry about more than Salem's lackeys when she's always worked from the shadows to get what she wants? She always works through other people. But, I mean, at this point, now that one relic is out and one's about to be, or one... Well, the maiden for one is about to, you know, whatever. The staff of creation is definitely at risk right now, so now that she can actually physically get the relic, she's actually physically going to be there to do th do so. Uh, and now that, I mean, the entire continent knows about her, it's not really that bad of a time for her to do it. It's kind of opportune, because now, I mean, now that they know about her, why the hell would she try to hide? She can strike fear into them that way. But, I mean, Ruby was right, and I don't necessarily think the goal of the heroes was ever to... I mean, the show and its themes wasn't really ever that Salem can be killed, because of what she stands for in general, negativity and hatred is always going to exist, and whether or not that's what's keeping her alive, or it's just her plain immortality from the gods, that doesn't necessarily matter. Salem and what she represents is always going to exist, so... Thematically speaking, her being immortal makes perfect sense. So that she can be the perfect embodiment of, I mean, what she is. So, there was always going to be a different endgame. I never really thought, I mean, after at least uh, Volume 6, Chapter 3, I never really could have said, like, oh, the whole time the plan, the plan was to kill her. I mean, that's what everyone thought they were going to have to do, but at the same time, like, you can't, you can't kill someone like that. Um, I mean, symbolically, it's going to have to take a quote-unquote kill of Salem and removing hatred and bigotry and discrimination and things to truly unite the world in the ways that the god of that the god of light wants if they are going to restore magic but i don't necessarily even think that restoring magic is the end goal of the heroes i don't necessarily they think they care they're just trying to stop <laughs> the inevitable and not just delay it but actually stop it and salem as she is right now can't be killed but I don't know if Summer or 
Ruby or whoever else in the past necessarily thought that that was going to be it. Or maybe I'm just talking out of my ass right now, but that's it for me for now. I'm Rising Rising. Have a good one.